Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today is Friday Freebie Day. This is number 115. So I'm just carrying on the sort of theme of the last couple of weeks because I'm absolutely loving them and I loved how they looked in my journal. So I've made a beautiful envelope. Um, so last week we did the, I'll show you in here, we did these lovely journal cards or they were like little fat um, tags and then the week before we did the little um, pockets as well. So they all sort of like match in together. Um, and then we've got the lovely envelope today. So I'm loving it. Now on this one, I popped a lovely little teapot and then we've got a little teacup on here. Um, so that's the on the um, little flap of the envelope. So I think this one is so lovely. Um, easy peasy to do, um, really, really simple. So I've made it out of book paper. Now this is the original one, which I made like that, um, which is just a piece of the Penny Magazine book paper. And I've just stuck one of my fussy cuts on there, which is the teacup and the little teapot, um, which is lovely. Um, so I've just sort of like scanned it in and I've done it like that. So I just love it. Um, so let's just pop that to the side. This is what it looks like when it's cut out. Really simple to cut out. I've printed on the back. So I've printed one of my tea coffee stained papers on the back, which is just makes it look really, really nice. Um, I don't know what I would have done, what I did before without the coffee and tea stained papers, because I use them, seem to be using them all the time. So what I'm going to do, I've cut it out, and then we just want to score around this bit, just so it's easy um, to fold so just get a ruler if you've got a scoreboard do use a scoreboard or just use a little tool and a ruler and just go around the edges just so it's easy to fold like that um, so it'll be a lot lot easier so I'm loving this and we're going to pop this into our lovely journal um, like that so let's just put this let's make sure this folds so you want to fold this one up on this side so let's just make sure we've got a good score line there fold this one up fold these two in like that I've already it's got all the little um, inked edges um, so you shouldn't need to ink it anymore so that those two go in and then that one just folds up like that and then this one just folds down let's just fold that down like that and then we have our lovely envelope I just love it really easy to do so let's just glue this up so just a little bit of glue around this bit and down here and then I'm just going to go around the outside of this one. Like that. And then we just fold that up. Really, really simple. And there we go. That is your lovely envelope. So loving it. I absolutely love it. I think it looks really, really nice. Especially if you've got a little um, journal that you're doing. It's just got a sort of like... Um, tea party or something like that or a little cookery one um, I think this would work really well in there so that's the envelope really simple to do now pop that to the side because I have one ready in here um, like this so these were the pages that we did before so I'm just going to I'm just going to just clip this down with one of these little clips just to hold that page down so I thought I might, oh, what I also did was popped a little closure on there. Now, if you are a um, lovely subscriber to my um, Kofi shop, you get these little ones in there as well. Um, so these are little freebies in there for you so I've used just used one of the little ones to pop on here as a little closure like that um, and then that just tucks in so all I did is take that and stuck it on the envelope like that but again you can use anything um, that you have um, so I thought did I put anything inside 
Oh yeah, and these are some more little tags as well for the Kofi supporters. Um, so I put those in there as well. So what I thought I might do on this page is I'm going to pop it down like that. But again, I love things that move like that. So I'm going to pop it so it goes in like that way, not out. So when we close it, it will automatically just close into the, your journal. And what I'm going to use is well, where I've cut it out, these are the leftover pieces. And because I've got the coffee or the tea stain on the back, I'm going to use a piece of that to make a little, um, like a little, um, what's it called? What are they called? I don't know. Like a little flippy thing. I don't know what it's called. Let's just cut a piece off anyway don't need too much let's go this way let's see about there cut a little piece off so say I've done it two and a half inches by one and a quarter inches and all I'm going to do is just fold that in half like that okay that over there and I'm going to stick this onto there and then this piece onto the book okay just as a little flap a bit of glue pop that on here like that Oops, make sure it doesn't move, I think I moved it a little bit but never mind that's okay and then I'm going to pop a little bit of glue this side, not onto your envelope and then I'm going to stick that on this bit of page here. Just stick on there and open up lovely and then we can just open that up take whatever out make sure that's dry and then that just sticks on there perfect look at that okay now we want to decorate the back of the page as well now I've got all my little fussy cuts here um, and I have printed them off um, two to a page um, so the little tiny ones I printed off two to a page um, so they come out really small so you can see how small they've come out um, which I love and then this is the next size so I've got them in different little sizes look and I just think they're lovely so if you already have these fussy cuts um, they will match the Friday freebie so what I wanted to do a very similar again because I wanted to say on the same sort of theme as we did before um, so I'm just going to pop some paper down, the book paper which is here. So I've just taken a strip, make sure you're in view. Just taken a strip which I thought I'd pop over the top. Let's just tear that piece off and tear that piece off and stick it on there. And then I'm going to pop these on there like that. I just think that will look nice. Um, as a page and then we can just sew and make it a little bit messy on there as well so let's just stick a little bit of glue on here stick this down on the top just to give it a nice little um, top piece on here so we've got a little focal point as well at the top I'm going to use a little bit of gesso. Let's use the lid. Look at my grubby looking lid. A little bit of gesso around here. And then this can be a little journaling spot down there. So we can fit lots on the page because we've got lots of journaling room little cards and stuff to put in there to journal on and then we've got this little bit here 
which is nice. Pop that over the top. Then we're gonna let me put the lid back on there so it doesn't dry up. A little bit of ink just around the top bit. Just add a little bit of texture and stuff behind it. Let's just on the edges. And then I used the end of this, I think, didn't I, before? So just to keep in the same sort of theme like that, we can just add a few little our little marks on there, which I think will look nice like that. So that looks good. I do like that. Let's have some of these so they go sort of off the page. Perfect. And then that will go on there. And then we've got this piece for journaling on. And I just think that's a lovely, lovely page. No, I don't need just so I need glue. Again, look, I still haven't cleaned off the bottom of my glue pot from doing my jelly plates, my jelly printing. Let's pop that there. Like that. Put this on. I do like that so there's a nice little little spot of tea which is lovely so there we go guys I love that I think that looks really really nice and they all go really really well together um, and again we could probably even pop where's the little one we could even pop a little one down there but I don't want to overdo the teapots but I think that looks really nice so there we are guys, that's your lovely Friday freebie for this week. I am absolutely loving this, I think it looks really, really nice. So we've got lots of journaling space there, lovely little collage at the top. Again, add a little bit of fabric or whatever you like underneath there, but I think they just blend really well. They all go so well together. I'm loving this, I'm loving this book so far so really really good so there we go guys that's your friday freebie this is what you will get so this will you can just print off um if you are not um in the facebook group this will be on next week all the uh, friday freebies for this month will be on um etsy or kofi next week um but if you want like this and you're on facebook there's a link down below you can join my facebook group happiness and crafting um, and then you can go in there and you can print this off um, and then you can make your lovely little envelope so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me please have a fantastic weekend stay safe um, and I will see you all soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.